Minecraft emotes have always been an interesting part of Bedrock Edition. A few months ago, I made a video talking about these emotes and almost every problem I could think of. Like how there's emotes from other games, duplicate emotes are sold for higher prices, glitched duplicate emotes, emotes with broken animations including this one that makes it go invisible, and so on. However, every single emote that I talked about in that video got deleted. And you know what they did? They just added way more emotes? Like, why? Why did they remove the 100 emotes that, you know, existed before? A few weeks later, they added only some of the emotes back. And then a month later, they decided to delete them again? Like, why? What was the purpose of that? They didn't even fix any of the problems like there being duplicate emotes when they added them back. And then they specifically selected the same emotes with the problems to not be visible on the emotes page anymore. Like, how are they not aware of the issue? Either way, these 100 new emotes are an improvement. I have less things to say about them. There's less animation errors in the emotes, and overall the emotes are more higher quality. But in return, they added more emotes that are quite questionable that I feel like I have to talk about them. Last time, there was really only one emote that I thought was a little questionable. It's called Acting Like Santa, and I've been told that it's Santa going ho ho ho. But before, I thought it was supposed to be the wrong thing, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't entirely alone. But now, there's emotes that are like, why was this even made? And then there's a few emotes that I think are actually broken in that it's paid to win if used correctly. This was my first reaction to some of the new emotes. Nah, that looks so fake, bro! Also, isn't this just that one Fortnite emote? Oh my god. Helicopter, helicopter. Like we needed another one. No! 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 What have they done? What, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? What is this? Float Studios back again? Oh my god, no. Bro, no. What the hell am I doing? What is this? Default gamers dance. Okay. No. No. Come on, man. You, you didn't have to add this to Minecraft. There was a whole controversy with this emo in Fortnite. And now they added this to Minecraft. Like, was that really necessary? Just saying. Oh my god! I am buying this! I don't care what anyone says, okay? This is the highlight. This is the highlight right here. What the hell am I actually looking at right now? Before we begin with anything though, let me quickly go over some recurring themes. These are some problems I talked about before that carried over with these new emotes. Like how there's even more duplicate emotes first of all. They added 4 more floss emotes. So in total, there have been 10 floss emotes in this game. Even Cubecraft decided to make a floss emote. You know what's crazy though? That's not even bad compared to the amount of dabbing emotes there are. They added, and I'm not even joking when I say this, 9 dabbing emotes. So in total, there have been 14 dabbing emotes on the emotes page. Why would they do this? They added 7 push-up emotes, including the one that Minecraft made just for the Kung Fu Panda collab. So in total, there have been 12 push-up emotes on the emotes page as well. Why? There's also a large amount of helicopter, take the L, and T-post emotes that got added. I don't get why these marketplace creators keep on making the same emote. Especially the helicopter one. Like there seriously shouldn't be more than 4 versions of this emote. And 8 in total. For some reason, a strange amount of hype dance emotes got added in this time around, which wasn't a popular emote back then or anything like the floss or push-ups. There was only one hype dance emote. There's also a surprising amount of take the L emotes that got added even though there was only one take the L before. Some are okay, and then there's this one. Goofy out movement bro, like what is this? Okay, I love this one by heart. This one looks a little questionable. There's also new emotes that are copying already existing Minecraft emotes, like this handstand emote. Which, how did this get past Minecraft's quality control? Oh wait, they don't have one. Emotes with inaccurate pricing is also something that is a recurring theme. The zombie dance emote by the Lucky Petal is a rare emote that costs as much as a common emote. This is the second time the prices have been incorrect with this whole emotes thing, and I'll say it again. I guess marketplace creators could just set the price of their emotes to whatever they want. Same exact thing with Superhero. And finally, unoriginality. Now I'm not saying everything has to be completely original or that Fortnite and Roblox invented every emote. But this emote is so obviously the Lunar Party emote from Fortnite. And remember when I showed off the Boogie Down emote in part 1? I didn't say it in the video, but obviously it's from Fortnite. The dance won the Boogie Down competition, but I guess they just added the emote that got second place into the game? Think I wouldn't notice? I mean, come on, it has the same name. 
Remember when I said that this emote is the default dance? To the people who thought I was just confusing innocent emotes as Fortnite dances? Introducing default gamers dance. The timings for this emote is almost the exact same as default dance in Fortnite. Awesome flip by Team Workbench is actually just flipping sexy from Fortnite. The timings are actually identical, like I can't make this up. Okay, now that that's out the way, let's go over some of the new emotes that I think are interesting to say the least. Let me start with showing a clip from my friend obviously when we were talking about emotes in general, and I told him that Minecraft just added new emotes. Hey yo! What? 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 Yo! What? Nah. Wait, Minecraft is trolling. What are these SDA emotes? I found it. It's right there. Oh hell no! Bruh! <laughs> Zesty at move, bro. Bro, I gotta buy this one for sure. <laughs> yeah, you heard him. Zesty A emotes. So you know, obviously that wasn't the intended purpose of the emotes. At least I hope so. But you can't tell me that this should be allowed in Minecraft. So let's talk about some more of these questionable emotes. You already saw some of the emotes like the Novus Climber emote by Ninja Scroll Gaming, which actually done in game is crazy, and I'll show that in a second. However, there's more. There's the mechanical boy emote. Obviously, we'd be screaming AO at this one. Same thing with horse racing, probably. <laughs> Walk around by 4KS Studios. I guess these marketplace crews could just do whatever they want, I guess. Anyway, change of pace. Baby Shark is in Minecraft now. Just something I wanted to share. Okay, what is the name of this emote? Iconic Dance, huh? Okay, as the iconic Bedrock YouTuber, I can confidently say that this emote is not iconic. Okay, there's somehow a worse gritty emote than the fake gritty. Like, how did they even manage to make grid dance? What is a grid dance? Oh shoot, he's tweaking, he's tweaking! All of the emotes I talked about earlier aren't questionable in some way, but this one takes the crown for being actually bad. Jibbolation by Comfycraft. For context, there was a whole controversy in Fortnite with this emote and character physics. All I'm gonna say is if you know, you know. And they decided to add this to Minecraft? That might be possibly the worst thing you could do. Anyway, let me show you how bad these emotes could actually get in game. <laughs> what the security is this, bro? What am I um, missing? Why am I hearing? Uh, uh, well, we found a very silly Minecraft emote. emote that we can do very silly things um, with. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. And we'll stay right get there. Down, get down. Get down. Get down. What do you mean get what? down? What? Whoa! Why is this so loud on Minecraft? What? what? I need to find people that stand still. Look at this person. <laughs> Look at this person. Let me go right here. <laughs> and just go I'll climbing, just... people. This is unconsensual. Crouch with it. <laughs> Let's talk about pay to win emotes. Something I should have talked about in part 1 was emotes potentially being used as an unfair advantage. I didn't think this was that important to mention, but when a lot of the new emotes are like this, I feel like I have to discuss about it. Emotes that make your character go higher than 1.5 blocks vertically are pay to win. First, the walking on air emote by Creator Labs is a good example. Not only are you 1.5 blocks above the ground the second the emote starts, your vertical peak in the emote is about 2 blocks, maybe even more. Plus you're also upside down. This emote is so high vertically that half of your character goes off the screen. Like imagine how broken this actually is in game. If there's a ceiling above you, you could do the emote to hide yourself. Crater Labs also made Whirlwind, and it's OP for the exact same reason. The Bouncing Ball emote by 4 Chaos Studios. I mean come on man, this was my reaction to the emote. Bouncing ball. What the hell am I actually looking at right now? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? They actually are having fun. They're actually having fun, okay? How did this get approved? This ain't even a dance! I was in complete disbelief when I saw this. Not only are you moving so unpredictably for 10 whole seconds, you're crumpled up into a ball, which makes you smaller visually. This will confuse people on trying to hit you, and if you're holding an item like a snowball or a bow, it's near impossible to see that. Now I kinda wanted to know how it was in game, so I decided to buy the emo to see how it's like. Okay, it is currently 4.44 AM, but I finally got the mine coins because it finally let me, so uh, let's do it. Uh, well, here it is. I'm still going. I'm still going. No way. 
No. Like, I have this forever. It's all in my hands. It's actually all in my hands, okay? They may have removed the greeting emote. I, I still have the greeting though, okay? If they remove this in two months, I'll still have it forever. Now, because I bought this emote, even if they remove it, I will have it forever. So knowing I possess this emote forever made me realize that emotes in general can be paid to win. Another broken emote is the sit on block emote, which you're off the ground by exactly a block and you're pushed back by half a block. The positioning allows you to sit perfectly on an actual Minecraft block that's behind you. However, if you do this against a wall, most of you is invisible. I wanted to see how this emote was actually like, so I made my friend Defect buy it to test it out. Cooked at a temperature of 3456 degrees. <laughs> how broken is that? That's like uh, a block. Uh, hold on. Wait, do it against the wall though. Yeah, 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 yeah. A new alloy that we managed to translate into a fully fledged. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need it. Now after we need to try this on Hive, cause like you could crouch. Yeah, cause on Hive you can crouch. Yeah. yeah. Can you crouch and still do it? You have been high yeah. To fly and it stays longer too. Why did I buy that? Even though this and the other emotes seem broken, they all cost money. However, there's one emote that you could get for just playing the game. There's the fake death emote, which you could get for free by completing a simple Minecraft achievement. Now let me give you a bit of context on how these emotes are OP. If you crouch and do the emote, it cancels out the emote. However, on some Minecraft servers, you can crouch while doing the emote. So we decided to test the emote on the Hive, the most popular Bedrock server. Which funnily enough allows this to happen. Three, two, one. <laughs> Both of these oh. emotes are stupid, okay. So dumb though, like you can see the hat. You okay. can't. Well, if it's three blocks tall. And for the longest time, I knew that in some situations like being the murderer in Murder Mystery or specific PvP situations, you could hide yourself to knock the enemy off. Which is actually really OP. So what we've learned is that there are emotes that can hide your character if used correctly. Which does provide a pay to win experience. Like, you guys gotta see this emote. Watch this one. <laughs> what?! Wait, wait, where'd you go Avery? What? I'm completely invisible. You just leave, you just oh, left she left the, the server. And why? Why? <laughs> now this whole video I've been talking about some bad emotes, some questionable emotes, and some emotes I believe are broken. However, in the intro, I did say that overall these new emotes are better made, so let's go through some of my favorites, and there's actually more good ones. Joyful Bop by Hilk Maps is pretty well made, and it's kind of a vibe. Rockin by Sandbox Studios is such a good emote. You know, sometimes you gotta turn the heat up, you know what I'm saying? Raging Out by Jigar Bove Productions is pretty well made too. Trampoline by Box Build is pretty nice. The overall flow of the emote could be improved, but overall good work. Flip Dance by Loose Screw. Wait, hold up! This is kinda raw as hell. Item Spin by Duck Dun Bangs. What the hell is this, bro? Fight Top by Sapphire Studios. I love how natural this emote looks. Be the Fish by Fall Studios. I mean, come on, man, you can't go wrong with this. Bounty Floors by Aria Creations is genuinely a fantastic emote. Everything is so clean from the overall flow of the emote to the wave resembling, hey, I'm all the way up here, to even each of the different moves of the emotes because animating them so seamlessly seems like it's really difficult. Props to Aria. Freeze Breakdance by Hero Pixel Games is one of my favorite common emotes. It's kind of unfortunate that it's hidden at the very end of the new emotes though, so no one will really see it. Walking Upstairs by Shapescape has one of the best emote concepts and stories. I love how you stop, look down, and realize that there's no steps left on the invisible staircase and then you fall. It's genuinely such a creative and humorous touch to the emote. So in conclusion, Minecraft still needs to fix some of these problems, but the emotes are getting better. It was also interesting exploring how some of these emotes are paid to win. Now I mentioned the hive a couple times in this video, and if you want to watch one of my favorite videos I made on the server, click here.